The New York Jets have spent a bunch of money in draft picks over the last few years revamping this offensive line, but it appears Joe Douglas is not done yet. Five-time Pro Bowler Dwayne Brown comes in for a visit. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, we are talking about some offensive linemen specifically. One, Dwayne Brown, the former tackle for the Seattle Seahawks, formerly of the Texans, uh, has been in the league for about 14 years now, and he was in the Pro Bowl just last year. He's made five Pro Bowls over the course of his career. Coming in for a visit, for the New York Jets, uh, going to be at the Green White scrimmage tonight, which is kind of exciting. I will be there. If you're going to be there, try and uh, flag me down. Give me a, a good old hello. Uh, but he turns 37 at the end of this month, and he could potentially be joining the New York Jets. And this is pretty exciting stuff. Now, the Jets last year brought in Morgan Moses right around this time of year to come in and compete at the right tackle position with George Fant. This is sort of similar in that respect. He was a Pro Bowl tackle just last year. If you look over the course of his career, this guy has been absolutely... Uh, oops, sorry, let me put that on the front. Bam! <laughs> He's been absolutely elite over the course of his entire career. You look the last four years, he graded 5th, 22nd, uh, or sorry, 6th, 22nd, 5th, and 37th in terms of tackles across the entire NFL, and that's including left tackles and right tackles. So even though he's a little bit longer in the two, 37 years old, that doesn't mean he's uh, seeing a decline in play. Now, this is very similar to some of the players that we've seen Douglas have under his umbrella in the past. In Philadelphia, he had Jason Peters, who is like 39 years old playing at a really high level. So offensive tackles can play at that high level for a long, long time. And he just did it last year. So this is, this is pretty exciting stuff. I think he's going to come in as our swing tackle, potentially. Now, the Jets are sitting somewhere around $8 million in salary cap space. So we don't know what this contract is really going to look like. I'm a little surprised he's sitting out here this long. Now, he did get arrested at LAX for bringing a gun into like the TSA checkpoint line. So he could face up to a year in jail, uh, but it seems like it was more so an accident. So I don't think he's going to see any jail time. But hey, I'm not uh, any kind of legal advisor by any stretch of the imagination. But it seems like a, a little lapse in judgment there. Uh, but skill wise, dude's got talent. Joe Douglas can clearly identify offensive line talent. Uh, but having that depth at the tackle position, while we still have, you know, a, a number 11 pick in Mekhi Becton, you have a guy in George Fant who's played phenomenally well at the left-hand side of this offensive line. But we saw last year just how much depth is required. And Chuma Idoga uh, and Max Mitchell and, and some of the guys, McDermott, uh, that we have on the offensive line as backups aren't really up to snuff and aren't really, you know, that that comfy backup role that you might have to call on uh, and, and really have locked down because you, you want to evaluate Zach Wilson. And if, if you're, you know, throwing out, I don't want to, you know, slight anyone, but throwing out a scrub tackle uh, to try and protect your franchise quarterback and your, your franchise running backs and everything like that, it's probably not a recipe for success. And I think based on what we've seen from the defense this early in the training camp uh, in the summer, it's it's that Carl Lawson is creating a ton of pressure. Uh, you know, Quinn and Williams, some of this defensive front has really gotten in Zach's face and it's not giving me the warm and fuzzies. I want, I want a little bit more depth there, a little bit more protection for Zach Wilson in the case we want to throw a, you know, a third tackle out there in a jumbo set, uh, or even just have some depth across the line, or maybe, you know, someone's not playing up to snuff and you at least have that type of pressure and competition across the board. So hopefully he winds up coming to the green and white scrimmage and he's like, Hey, I love it in MetLife. I want to sign here. Let's give the Jets some depth. Let's give me a little bit more peace of mind. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you want Dwayne Brown, do you feel like maybe he's a little too old? Maybe go a different direction, see what the young guys have. Let me know in the comments section down below. And as always, go Jets.